You may think that a theory of change sounds quite similar to the logical framework approach. Both of these tools aim to convey the understanding of the logical structure or cause and effect of interventions within a project or program. When we use the logical framework approach, however, we're mostly thinking about the structure of the project, and that's a linear structure. We can say, based on the logical framework, that we expect if we do A, B and C, those could be the project outputs, for example, then we will get result D, the project outcome. For example, in an agricultural project, if we raise awareness about alternative agricultural practices, and if we provide a supply of drought-resistant seeds, then farmers will start acting differently. But a theory of change aims to go beyond that cause and effect structure. It's not just if we do A, B and C, we'll get result D. But if we do A, B and C, we'll get result D because. For example, because other similar projects have had proven results. Or because research has shown that doing A, B and C results in D. Or pilots conducted during project preparation showed an 85% uptake of improved practices. In other words, the theory of change focuses not just on what we expect to happen, but why we think we'll get those results. Did you know that over 98% of our projects have been successfully funded by major donors, including the Green Climate Fund? Head to our website to learn more about how we can help your project get funded. Thank <laughs> you.